Hello people, if you haven't already, go and watch Norvegan's newest video, The Unmasking Part 4. It's a video about Durin Rider. Yes, it is. He is far better at explaining just how messed up Durin Rider is than I am. And it's... Hell, it's even a, an, an interesting series to watch just if you want to learn more about narcissism in general. So be sure to check that out. I'll leave a link in the description. And let's start this video. Oh boy. Oh boy. It's not a video about Durin Rider. Today we're gonna talk about fake vegans. Now what is a fake vegan? A fake vegan is essentially the exact same thing as a regular vegan. Just a person that doesn't eat any animal products, doesn't wear leather shoes, doesn't wear fur coated jackets, things like that, you know, tries to do as much as reasonably possible for the environment, you know, a vegan. Now the difference between a vegan and a fake vegan is that a fake vegan does not accept Durian Rider as the Lord and Savior. Yes, that's ex that, that's exactly what it is. Actually, I'm pretty certain that you are considered to be more of a vegan if you are a self-proclaimed vegan that eats meat every once in a while than an actual vegan that just doesn't like Durian Rider. You know, the, the vegan that doesn't like Durian Rider is less of a vegan or it's more of a fake vegan than in vegan that eats meat. So, a fake vegan is essentially a real vegan that has disagreed with Durian Rider in one way or another. Sometimes not even disagreeing with Durian Rider, uh, but, but sometimes it's something as stupid as just not fully agreeing with Durian Rider. That can get you labeled as a fake vegan. And what I'm really getting at here is that Durian Rider, in his mind, he has created the YouTube vegan community. But the, but, but the, the thing is, if there is one person that has done a lot of damage to the international vegan YouTube community, it's Durian Rider. Single-handedly, he has done so much damage. And he's the only one that does this. If I were to compare this community to the Dutch vegan community, the Dutch vegan community is all peace and loving. It's all just, you know, getting together. Everyone is accepted. It doesn't really matter what type of vegan diet you follow. You get tips, you get help. Um, it's all good in the hood. Literally no one in that community cares who has more subscribers, more money, more Patreon supporters, or any of that. Nobody in that community cares, and you know what? Nobody in the international vegan community cares about that. Because why would they? Like, most people are not envious pricks. Except for Durian Rider. Like, the only one that really cares is Durian Rider. And it's great, because Durian Rider is always the one that's like, Oh man! The vegan community used to be so great, but now it's all competition, and now it's all, you know, people are in it for the money, and for the subscribers, and for all that bullshit, and it's not for the animals. No, Durian Rider, that's you, that's you, that's you, that's you, that's you alone. Nobody is doing that except for you. At the end of the day, it's all superficial bullshit. Well, you know, it's an income. You know, for many people, it's an income. But it's not a competition at all. Actually, it's pretty much the opposite. Often you see communities like this trying to help each other. Like, the YouTube fitness community is always out there to collab, always out there to help each other. The vegan community is like that as well, for the most part. You know who isn't like that? Durian Rider, because it's a competition. He wants to be the most successful vegan YouTuber, and well, you know, he's never going to be that. He desperately wants that to, to be that, but it's never going to happen. And well, Durian Rider might want to say, well, all these successful channels, I made them. Well, <laughs> he didn't. I mean, he simply didn't. I mean, there have been channels out there that have that have had no contact with Durian Rider whatsoever. And they are by far more successful than he will ever be. But even then, like, dude, even then, if you help these channels to become as big as they are, and you did that for the most part, which is not true. But even if 
And you should be happy for them. Who cares if they make a little bit more money than you do? Because according to you, you make enough money anyway, right? Why, why do you even care about that? Why even bring that up? It's so superficial, man. And, uh, you know, all these people, all these people that are in some way better than you, or not sometimes even just criticize you for one thing or another, you call them fake vegans. Well, if that is a fake vegan, then I'd rather be a fake vegan. Then I'd rather, then I'm rather labeled a fake vegan because I'm with all the fake vegans on this. And uh, you know what? It's too bad because this is another way of separating vegans. This is another way of separating, hell, not even vegans, but humans. As, and, and we shouldn't be separated by this bullshit. We shouldn't be separated by this. What I recommend people to do that follow Durian Rider is take a hard look at what Durian Rider is doing. Who is really separating people? Who is really trying to, to separate vegans from vegans? Who is really doing that? Durian Rider started shit with Dr. Gregor, someone that essentially agrees with the whole 80 10 10 thing, as far as, I'm, as, as far as I know. But Dr. Gregor just made a few videos about arsenic. Now, Dr. Gregor is a very reliable source when it comes to vegan nutrition. I wouldn't say, like, everything that he says is foolproof, but he's by far more, um, you know, far better at giving nutritional advice than Durian Rider will ever be. And what is Durian Rider doing? He's telling people, don't listen to Dr. Gregor, don't listen to Dr. Gregor, he's a piece of shit. He's bad for veganism. Dr. Gregor is bad for veganism. Dude, that guy is pulling in more vegans at this point than you ever will. That guy is converting more vegans and is actually helping them to live healthier lives than you ever will. But it's people like that which you want to start a war with. How ridiculous is that? And you know what, Doreen Ryder? If you, if you didn't give people so much shit for literally nothing, if you wouldn't have sold your diet advice as some objective truth, if you wouldn't have um, started a war with literally every vegan in this whole community, then I can guarantee you would not be in the same shit as you are in today. And the, the thing is, People like you are very good at making friends, but you are absolutely horrible at keeping them. And I've seen this a few times in, in different communities as well. Like another notable uh, character um, is, is Brad Keane in the atheist slash Christian community. That guy, he's very good at convincing people of his initial story. But if you go against him in one way or another, you are his arch enemy. And you know what happened with that guy? He literally has no one. He literally has no one left that supports him. From time to time he pull, pulls in some new people that become part of his crew. But they always go, go away. They, like This guy is switching friends every one, two weeks. <laughs> more or less. And that's, that's exactly what you're doing. You're losing everyone. You're losing everyone, dude. And if you lose... Well, but, but you, I guess you just think like, well, I can make new friends. Well, guess what? What you, what you also see with Brad Keen, eventually you have made so much enemies that it actually becomes really hard to make new friends. Eventually you have made so many enemies that people, all, even new and, and the gullible people, will become extremely skeptic to whatever you have to say. You are in a... Very bad position during Rider. And I and I do think that you know this. And it's going to become worse over time. And I think that right now you might be in a position where you can undo some of the damage by just being honest. But I know that you're not going to be you know, you you're not going to. You're not going to be honest. You have too much pride in you, don't you? So you're just gonna fuck it up for yourself. You're just going to fucking destroy yourself. You're gonna grave. You're, you're gonna dig your grave even deeper than it already is. 
<sighs> now, again, like I said, I'm rather a I'm rather a fake vegan than a real Durian Rider supporting vegan. I thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next video, which hopefully has a better subject than Durian Rider.